Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on The Witcher 3. I'm back up here. Is this, this is, okay, I was like, is this even where I'm supposed to go? It is. Okay, um. Wait, where do I go from here? Oh, I need to go this way. I was like, I'm forgetting how to do this. Room on the top oh, floor. This way. One with the balcony. Okay. It won't let me run. There we go. Okay. There's the balcony. Let's see what's inside. And now, my dear Dodo, I believe I'll try a different tool. Afraid I'm bored with this one. You're fucking balmy, Junior! Anyone tell you that? No. Most say I'm nice. Once they get to know me. So, you enjoy good company? Like to make new acquaintances? <laughs> you plan to introduce me to someone interesting? There you are. Good of you to come. I've been waiting for you. This is, this is literally a joke that you fight him. He's so easy. You're a joke, Junior. You're a joke. I'll get you, you little whore. You're just a joke, Where's Junior. Ruben's treasure? Too easy, Junior. Like. An eye for an eye. Dudu, listen, this is what we'll do. Get that fucking whore! Come on, little shits. Oh, the one shot. Oh, no. No, it's a two shot, but... These guys are so easy. Where am I going? Do I go back out the window? Oh, I was trying to go out the wrong door. Never mind. Hey, guys. How's it going? Oh, shit. Come on, guys. Come on. Nope. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm playing with fire. I'm almost dead. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, they can't hit me. There we go. No! Down, one down. Two down. Three down. Four down. And out we go. Out we go to Dandelion and Doo Doo. Who names their kid Doo Doo? I just want to know. Who names their kid Doo Doo? Or Dodo, or whatever the hell. Who names their kid that? Who sits down and is like, Dodo, good name. Alright game, you can do it. Let's load. I don't get, like, I, I, I seriously, I don't understand this game sometimes. That's what happened. Told you true.
What happened to the woman? Fuck if I know. One of the boys got her in the back, but she's alive, I swear it. Got anything else to say? I've told you all I know. Everything. You hurt the woman I'm looking for. You tortured her friend. She attacked me. I have a right to defend myself. I beg you. Got what I deserved. Have mercy. Please. I'm no executioner. Thank you. I'll make it up to you, I will. This is my city, yeah. Shut up. Now what? Gotta wonder what your friends from the Big Four will say when they find out you're working for Radovid. Hey! Wait! What are you saying? Wait! Oh, the poor bastard. Tell Priscilla what you've learned about doo-doo. Oh, God. It's playtime, everybody. Woohoo! Whoopie freaking do. What the hell? Geralt, what the hell? I'm stuck. There we go. The play's the thing. Ah, oh, God. Ah, oh, God. I don't even want to mess with you guys. I guess I do have to kill you guys. Come here. Come here, bitch. Come on, come closer. Come on. Oh, you little shit. Sick of your shit. Oh, shit. Oh, Geralt. What am I locked onto? Okay. I'm not really too worried about looting them all. Like, I honestly don't think I'll have trouble beating this. <laughs> Even if I don't, like, get the top of the line equipment. Seems you've resolved your matters. It's time you return the favor. Radovid doesn't like to wait much, does he? No, he does not. You'll come with us. The HMS Oxenford Tretagor. Once the crown jewel of the Redanian fleet. Decommissioned now, though. Nice boat. You'll need to leave your weapons if I'm to let you aboard. Follow me. Yeah, got three pounds of steel. Ship was funded with donations from noble women. Ladies from the most prominent families gave up their jewelry. A spur of the moment patriotic impulse. You're a homeless wanderer. There you are. Need something from me, Your Majesty? You've never been one to mince words. Very well. Find Philippa Eilhart. That's my wish. I ordered her eyes gouged out once. But apparently her blindness troubles her not. My hunters have detected Lady Eilhart hiding east of Oxenfurt. They have further established that she has magically sealed the entrance to her shelter. Entering it will be difficult. I believe you might succeed in doing so. Bring her to me. Alive. Need to think about it. Don't take too long. We wouldn't want Philippa to escape. Again. You may go. All right. So many favors in this game. A favor for a friend. A favor for Radovid. A favor for Triss. A favor for Yennefer. A favor for Siri. Your arms. F your favor Thanks. for Avalon. Never seen better steel in my life. Blade must strike true, no? It's a matter of the hand, not the steel it's holding. Okay, so we did level up. Let's go ahead and get that going here. Let's see. So I got two points. And I can get something else. So I'm going to put 
one point into this just for the bonus to that. Um, let's go ahead and pop that one. Let's get height and tolerance. I think that's what I want. Well, I guess I can't change it now. Uh, let's see here. Let me go ahead and select the correct quest. Just to tell Priscilla what we learned about Dudu. Dodo. Okay. So I need a fast travel. Uh, I think I see one. Yep. Right over here. Okay, so we need to head back to Novigrad. Go to High Arc Square. I'll take a look at my weight and I'll see if I want to sell or not. If I need to go go shopping to sell my items or not. I think I'm going to finish up the play in this episode though. Since now I know all you got to do is talk to one group. I think I'll just go talk to the sailors and or whatever. The, the guys at the harbor. Get them to... Get them to help, and I'm not even going to worry about the other people, because we don't need them. I'd rather have bouncers than promoters. Now, if you think about that, I'm not entirely sure. Do you really need bouncers without promoters? Do you really need promoters without bouncers? The interesting questions I think of. I'm going to need to get another drink. Um, can I go in this way? I'm not sure. I think I can go in this way. Yep. Let's go ahead and head on up to Priscilla's room. This way, back here, Priscilla's room. Has to load dialogue. I think I know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan, but we need Dudu. Got to find him. This plan. What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion move to Oxenford. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. But how do you aim to find Dudu? You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the Doppler, the question's never where, but as whom. In the past, facing trouble, he'd disappear, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time... This time he hasn't returned. We need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with, someone he trusts. Dandelion. Irina Reynard's troop. That's all, really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the mummings? Yes. I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. He certainly could have counted on the Foxen's help. Hmm. So if these mummers are ready to help... We need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply indebted to him. Maybe we could use a play. You know, work a message to Dudu into something. Lure him out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea, but I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides, do you really think Dudu was away his days attending mummings he knows by heart? So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play. From scratch. Something grand. Something that will grab Dudu's attention. So most importantly, it must have a splendid title. It must be the talk of the town. If you wish, we can start on it right away. All right. Guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Actually, I was hoping... The key is to convince Dudu that he can rely on you, and that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence, meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? More or less. That'll do. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the Condottieri of Povis. I know. Lorenzo Molla. A tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit and the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide and can only count on the help of his friend, who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, 
Better. His beloved. Hmm. What do you think? Sounds great. Really think so? Lorenzo Moller. Yeah. Hmm. Or perhaps not. Wait, I've got it! We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenwald. Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel queen, bells sounding midnight. But... At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Pavetta. They want him dead, but at that instant a witcher steps in. And everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? We need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I have some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. I've two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation and A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. Which do you prefer? Let's go with The Doppler's Salvation. It's shorter, catchier. Just one problem. No Dopplers in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Hmm, all right. So it's a comedy. I was thinking more along dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter... Listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. Think comedy's the safer option. Very well. I must get to work. While you must pick a corner, sit down, read silently, or just think, all right? Fine, since you don't need help with the writing. Geralt, wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? Ugh, just keep quiet. Done. I could make a small masterpiece of this had I a bit more time, but... We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you weave in? Hidden message? You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or... That wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all! You wrote it to contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? I don't know. I was counting on recognizing him by his scar. Or just improvising? Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure you know where to find her? The troupe performs in the butcher's yard off the main square. Join us later. See ya. Alright, so we need to take the scribe to Irina Renard. So we can get this play on the road. Get this show on the road. Oh. I'm surprised it didn't kill me. It's quite the fall for gear. Oh shit, I'm going the wrong way. We took all of this away. I don't think we will get to do the whole play in this episode, but we'll get to get most of it accomplished. Oh, I gotta talk to this guy by a Oh. This where Madame Marina's troupe performs. Yeah, but you can only enter with a ticket. There's no performance now. Mamas are just rehearsing. Process is interesting to observe, though. So, want a ticket? No performance. Said so yourself. You can still get a ticket. What'll it be? Need a ticket? Yeah, one. Here. Just stay out of sight, eh? Awful bashful, these mamas in rehearsal. Okay, in we go. Need to talk to Irina Renard. Madam Irina, can we talk? Geralt of Rivia, Dandelion's told us so much about you. Is he with you? No, but I hope to bring him back soon. Here to talk about Dudu. Hmm. Let's speak in my quarters at the back of the theater. We'll be undisturbed there. How can I help? 
We've not seen Dandelion or Doodoo -doo recently. I want to stage a play, something that'll really draw the crowds. I see. And you hope it'll get Doodoo's attention as well, draw him here. So it must be an entirely new play? And who will write it? Priscilla, actually. She's done writing it. Tells the story of a witcher who rescues a Doppler from certain death. Mm. Sounds interesting. I'll gladly have a glance. But first we must think about getting the word out and organizing some protection. Ushers. Would you mind tending to these matters? Think we need ushers? A play about Dopplers could be controversial, but are ushers absolutely necessary? Can't be sure if you've attended many performances, but Novigrad crowds can be particularly difficult. Rotten apples, tomatoes, eggs, that sort of thing? Axes, butcher's knives, and bricks, actually. All right, know anyone appropriate? Try the docks, perhaps. You're bound to find some men willing to do any work for a few crowns. How can I help you spread the word about the premiere? Well, we'd like all the city to hear about it, so we must clearly talk to the Puffins. Who are the Puffins? Street artists. Get them to announce the premiere, and even the muscles on the harbor piling will hear about it. Where'll I find them? They did occupy some rooms in the bits in a townhouse, but I can't be sure they're still there. I've not seen them in the streets lately. They may very well have hung up their body hose. Let's see if I can find them, and if they'll work for us. Thanks for helping. I'll come back once I've found some ushers. See you then. Alright, so let's go ahead and go get these ushers. Oof, I've worked up quite the appetite. And then I think I'll call it an episode and we'll do the play in the next episode if I could get through this door. There we go, okay. Whoa! I'm gonna head to the docks. Go ahead and go get these, uh, these ushers. So, like, ushers are supposed to keep the peace, obviously, and also show people to their seats and stuff like that. But, like, when I go to football games and stuff like that, mostly football, but, uh, the older, the ushers are always old people. Like, what are they gonna do? How are they gonna stop a fight? It's always what I've wondered. Or, like, in basketball games, there are some younger ushers, if I do say so, because I don't know why, but there are younger ushers at basketball games. In hockey games, usually there's younger ushers, but at football games, it seems like most of them are all old guys, and I don't really get it. I'm like, they couldn't break up a fight if their life depended on it. Alright, so we're almost there, making a long run. Hopefully get these guys to help the cause. I wonder if there's a different way to get them that you don't have to pay them. I assume you just have to pay them. There we go. Good fight. Some nice footwork there. Challenging me, or is it hell you want to face? A witcher versus the beast of Metina. Killer Instinct versus Primal Rage! Like to hire you to help out. We're staging a play. Need us to kick some ass on stage. Actually want you to usher. Keep the peace. Make sure no one's ass gets kicked, on stage or off. Got the wrong men. Ass kicking's what we do. I pay well. Stand to make more than you do here. Expecting trouble? Well, we need to bust some heads. Can't rule it out. Bricks could start flying. Heard that from a reliable source. Ow! Wanna smash some bricklayers? Oh, he does, he does! Oh, I don't know me own brother. Give me that coin. And don't fret. We'll be there before any of the, uh, dancing starts. Alright, so... I think that's gonna do it for this episode. In the next one, we will uh, we'll go ahead and talk to Irina Renard and start the play. So I will catch you all then. Peace out, guys.